Hi, this is Pamela Diaz reporting from Ridgecrest, an area that was affected by two of the largest earthquakes recorded in Southern California in the last 20 years. There is a reminder for residents right now that we live in earthquake country and therefore preparedness is key. We ended up here because uh, we got evacuated from our house. So I brought my kids over here. According to Flavio, his family was allowed to camp on this park after his mobile home was one of many others in Ridgecrest that were damaged during the two strong earthquakes that struck Southern California in early July. They got an awesome shelter. They, I mean, Red Cross has helped a lot. Kids did not want to be inside. They, they, were, they were paranoid every time we got a minor, shot, minor after effect. And they got all paranoid, so we brought them out here. Meanwhile, not too far from Ridgecrest in the Searless Valley. The main part of the damage is on the other end, but there's damage up front as well. Trona resident Sheila Cardmel gave us a run through of the structural damage that her two homes sustained. This window comes out, this is probably all going to come down. Because of the danger that these structures represent, local authorities were not allowing her to go back inside. So I'm thinking they're basing it off of the, the separation of the house and the since it slid off the foundation probably about six inches. She hopes the government will step in to help her rebuild. Hopefully with the state of emergency, I would, I think maybe that that's where that steps in. But I don't know if we got to fix it first and then we save the receipts and give it to them. I don't know how that works. California's insurance commissioner, Ricardo Lara, sends all residents a clear message before a similar or even greater earthquake strikes. So government and first responders are going to be quick to be able to respond after a major quake to make sure that critical services uh, are being met and that we protect, you know, communities. But when it comes to your individual property, your individual investment, how do you rebuild after this damage? That's what uh, California Earthquake Insurance is for. For entities like the not-for-profit California Earthquake Authority, it is imperative that homeowners and renters know that they need a separate earthquake insurance policy to cover the cost of earthquake damage and that rates are more affordable these days. People don't buy earthquake insurance because they think it's too expensive. My answer to them is, you haven't looked lately. Uh, earthquake insurance used to be way too expensive. In the days following Northridge, 25 years ago, prices soared. But then this not-for-profit CA was formed, and we've been working to bring down prices ever since. Besides owning an earthquake insurance policy to prepare for the next big earthquake, people must also make sure to have a family emergency plan in place an emergency kit handy, enough water and food, and like the American Red Cross explained, know what to do when the ground starts to shake. A strong recommendation is during an earthquake, drop, cover, and hold on. Whether it's crawling underneath a chair, a table, or if you're in bed, put the pillow over your head. But just protect your head in case anything starts flying around the room and hold on. And I could speak to that because during the 7.1 earthquake, I was holding onto a table and it still popped me off the ground. And even though Sheila received plenty of drinking water that the American Red Cross was distributing in the affected areas, and relied on the food supply she said she had handy, there is one thing she wished she had. You wish you would have had earthquake insurance? Yes, yes, yeah. After this, I highly recommend it, yeah. Earthquakes have happened in California in the past, they're happening today, and they will continue to take place in our state. Therefore, to know what to do before, during, and after an earthquake, visit EQ headquarters Dot com. In Ridgecrest, California, Pamela Diaz, California Earthquake News.